What's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and I've got a few more album recommendations from February that you won't want to miss out on. But before I do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and stick around because there are plenty more videos where this came from. Let's get into it. First up, we've got French black and death metal band Svart Crown enveloping us in darkness with Wolves Among the Ashes via Century Media Records. I would recommend Svart Crown to fans of Behemoth, Shamash, and Otargos. Now, given my sky-high expectations coming off of the previous album, Ab Reaction, I must admit that this album initially left me feeling somewhat unfulfilled. But the reality is that the comparison here simply just isn't fair. Wolves Among the Ashes is its own beast entirely, and once I was able to abandon my preconceptions, I could appreciate it for its own merits. This is a full-speed march into oblivion. The seemingly endless barrage of blast beats, double bass pedal, and wailing black metal tremolos are nicely broken up by some killer hooks from the sludgy sway of Blessed Be the Fools to the bouncy jaunt of Exoria. It's a colder, bleaker affair to be sure, but not without its own moments of groove. And furthermore, Svart Crown further mature their sound with some interesting vocal choices. In addition to the usual Nurgle-like snarls and ominous chanting, Leibale also throws in some Yaoli clean singing, more familiar to progressive black metal acts like Aeneon. The understated Down to Nowhere even plays out kind of like a Tom Waits song before expanding in scope to a pretty profound conclusion. With Wolves Among the Ashes, Svart Crown have greatly brought in their sound palette and crafted an album that only gets better every time I turn it on. Next, we've got Boston Metallic Hardcore Crew Great American Ghost drawing on some death metal influences for their heaviest album yet, Power Through Control via E1 Music. I'd recommend Great American Ghost for fans of Wolf King, Knocked Loose, and Norma Jean. I must say that after I heard the entombed core riffs, crushing snarls, and clean singing on Altar of Snakes, I was wondering whether this would turn into more of a deathcore album in comparison to past efforts. But as it turns out, Power Through Terror is a pretty even balance of the bitter, bile-spitting hardcore days of Everyone Leaves and these heavier influences. Furthermore, the latter comes off as much more matured as compared to the beatdown approach that fell a little flat for me on Hatred Stems from the Seed. For those reasons, I'm really digging the death metal elements that leak into the songwriting. Think what Knocked Loose did with certain portions of A Different Shade of Blue. More importantly, the irreverent, angst-ridden vocals that I've come to expect from Great American Ghost are in full swing, complete with apocalyptic, pre-breakdown callouts that are sure to leave broken bodies in the pit. And the singing portions remind me a lot of Norma Jean on tracks like No More, and Power Through Terror is just a fantastic hardcore album from a band that deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as the likes of Vane, Code Orange, and again Knocked Loose when discussing the best of the new breed. Next, we've got Polish group Blaze of Perdition with their new album, The Harrowing of Hearts, via Metal Blade Records. I'd recommend Blaze of Perdition to fans of Shamash, Outre, and Awe. I've been following this band since about 2015, and it has been really exciting to see them develop and mature over the last five years. In that time, they've gone from just another modern black metal band to something so much more. This is largely in part due to the stunning way in which they combine melody, atmosphere, and avant-garde together into a swirling cyclone of both light and darkness. The songwriting just keeps getting better and better, and the results get more and more transcendent with every release. There was also a changeover on this one in terms of guitarists, leading to what the band considers to be more of a rock-oriented direction. I definitely hear the Tribulation-esque vibes at times, especially on the track Moonchild. 
but in any case, it feels as if Blaze of Perdition is really narrowing the gap between themselves and better-known acts like, again, Shamash, maturing into a viable contender in the realm of modern black metal. Next, Australian metalcore crew Polaris take me back to the early 2000s once again with The Death of Me via Sharp Tone Records. I would recommend Polaris for fans of Under Oath, Architects, and A Day to Remember. Now, Polaris is basically the second coming of Under Oath, if you ask me. In fact, I'd argue that The Death of Me does Under Oath better than the last Under Oath album did. Take the same vocals and songwriting, add a genty dose of Architects hooks, and sprinkle with the pop sentimentality of A Day to Remember and the story so far, and you've got a recipe for one of the best medical groups of the last decade. And while I've been enjoying what these guys have been putting out since their 2016 EP, The Guilt and the Grief, I feel confident in saying that this is their most accomplished material to date. From the groovy bangers like Hypermania to the stunning ballad Radio Ready, Martyr, Waves, Polaris simply have it. With the right marketing and presence, there is no reason why they shouldn't be hitting it big. So if you dig it, do them a favor and spread the word. And last but certainly not least, we have the highly versatile metalcore band Loathe dropping an instant classic with I Let It In and It Took Everything via Sharp Tone Records. To greatly oversimplify, Loathe is what happens when you crossbreed the electronic-tinged metallic hardcore of Vein with the spacey post-metal of Deftones. There's so much more to it than that, but ultimately it's these two elements that burn the brightest on this incredible album. You've got gent bangers with hellish snarls, worthy of a Knock Loose or Code Orange concert on Broken Vision Rhythm, but then the very next track, Two Way Mirror, would have been right at home on Diamond Eyes. And if you want to get a quick snapshot of both, just check out Aggressive Evolution, which showcases the band's adept capability to traverse between these two styles within the same song. From the diversity and resulting dynamics to the sheer blunt force trauma of the heaviest parts, I Let It In and It Took Everything is a must-purchase album that I pre-ordered after just one listen. I even considered it for its own review, but Chris already did a long-form write-up on MetalTrenches.com that you can check out. Honestly, I could already see this one making my best of the year list. Now that's it for the main five, but February was a busy month. Be sure to also check out the individual reviews for Krosis, Xenobiotic, and Beneath the Massacre, and I have a few more quick shout-outs that I want to do right here as well. There's Italian experimental duo OVO continuing what Decibel called a David Lynch dance party with their new album via Artifact Records, recommended for fans of Swans, Igor, and Skugja. There's Norwegian progressive experimental black metal legend Isan breaking his usual one album every two years cycle to drop the first of two five-song EPs. It's Telemark via Candlelight Records. Then we've got French atmospheric black metal group Regarde les Hommes Tomber, dropping Ascension via Season of Mist, recommended for fans of Duil, Pale Chalice, and Mist Burming. Then emotive post-hardcore Screamo from Copenhagen from the band Demersal, delivering their excellent album Less for fans of Bossa de Naga, Erlen Meyer, and Glassing. There's Greek blackened thrash metal band Primeval Mass absolutely slaying with their new album Nine Altars via Catatroptin 9 Records, recommended for fans of Absu, Destroyer 666, and Skeleton Witch. And that's still only scratching the surface. So as always, find more reviews, streams, and recommendations right at MetalTrenches.com. Also check out the description for links to that, as well as all of our social media accounts, our email newsletter, and of course our Patreon and Subscribestar. Just a dollar a month makes a huge difference in supporting the content. Think of us as your weekly metal subscription service. And once more, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and share to help us grow. And stick around for plenty more from reviews and tier lists 
to the Trench Talk podcast, which is also available on iTunes, CastBox, and Spotify. And also, if you find Metal Trenches on Spotify, I have started curating some playlists, including a best of the decade one that I am quite proud of and continue to add songs to really on a daily basis. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.